Lord at all times. Come on, come on, come on. Bless his name. Bless his name.
I believe in the baptism of the Holy Ghost, who became indwelling on the day of Pentecost, is available to all believers. I believe without the shedding of Christ's blood, there would not be remission for sin. And I believe that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, and giving his children power to walk in dominion on the earth. Amen. 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 Come on, put your hands together one more time. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, Jesus died for me. Come on, Jesus died for me. Jesus died for me. I belong to God. I belong to God. And God runs the universe. God runs the universe. Therefore, Therefore, whatsoever we grasp by faith, will turn, we'll turn into physical matter. Because the blessings of God are upon my life. And there's nothing the enemy can do to stop them. Because God promised them. And God will fulfill them. Come on, put your hands together for the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, let's thank God for this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad herein. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. How many know that God is a good God? God does not make any errors or does he make any mistakes. Amen. Glory. Amen. At this time, we're going to have our announcements. Amen. Glory to God. I'm moving a little bit ahead of time. So, how many are you excited about going to the park? Amen. How many are you excited about what the word is getting ready to come forth? Amen. What God is getting ready to say to us. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Let's, let's look at our announcements.
We read. Yes. Amen. If we sow sparingly, we're going to reap sparingly. But if we sow bountifully, we're going to reap bountifully. Amen. 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 Father God, we bless you today. We thank you for both gift and giver. We thank you, Father, that you are a provision we have because you provided for us. For that, we're grateful. We come this morning just to say thank you for all that you're doing for us. We come to let you know that we're appreciative of all the things that you have provided for us. This is just a simply a token of those things that we give back to you to discipline ourselves in our giving. We thank you, Father, that through this tithing that you said you, you would rebuke the devourer for my sake. We don't have to worry about our crops. We don't have to worry about anything getting devoured because you said you would hold that word up. We're grateful for that. We thank you, Father, that we're going to read what we sow in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Stay there. I think I'm going to leave 
on some of these Sundays. Hallelujah. Back. back to that stuff. Amen. Amen. God is great. Amen. Brother Jack Lynn is with us. He's a new CEO of the Sea Rescue Mission. He's the main reason that we are at the sanctuary.
we want our men to hear the word of God before they go out for the day. And they, we want them to start it off on the right foot. Also, in our Croton Avenue uh, property is our family care. This is more than a food bank. Right now, we are providing uh, monthly groceries for roughly 125 families a month. It is increasing. We were at 50, 60 just a few months ago. So the need's out there. But again, it's more than a food pantry. These men, women, family can come in. We'll listen to them. We'll pray with them. We'll help them out with whatever we can. And we'll try to do God's work. Because outside of our building is a cross that says, uh, Christ our creed, love our law, Jesus saves. We model the compassion and the love that Jesus Christ showed all of us. But we don't save. Only Jesus saves. So anybody is welcome at the mission. Across town, we have our women's shelter. It's smaller than the men's. Roughly seven apartments. We could fit 14 women and families, uh, women with children. Unfortunately, with COVID, we put those as singles for now. So we're housing seven uh, women with children. Uh, that's one need in this community we need is a women's shelter like we have over at the men's shelter. And again, I already talked about the Sankey, but we're looking forward to opening that back up. So again, thank you for having me out. In the back, I put, we call them our ideas publications. Each month we send these out. It has our needs that we're looking for, for our men, women, and children. It also has a place in the back of how you can get involved. We need volunteers at the mission. If it wasn't for our volunteers, we couldn't do half the work that we're called to do. And there's multiple ways to get uh, involved. And the one I'd like to always point out is it's called a church ambassador. And what the church ambassador does is they keep in the loop through emails and phone calls of what we are doing at the mission, and they tell the church on Sunday morning. So that paper in the back, look for ways to get involved. And again, thank you for everything this church has done for us over the years. Please continue to pray for the City West Mission, the missionaries that work there, and everyone that God sends us to serve. Amen. Thank you. And God bless. Amen. Amen. We are uh, continuing to sow into the City Rescue Mission through that lift program that we have here. Amen. So there'll be, time, there'll be several times throughout the year that you will see that, especially around Christmas and Thanksgiving, that that lift program will go to the City Rescue Mission. Amen. Amen. So we want to stay a part of that. All right, our children are here. Amen. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're gonna let them dance, and so summertime is vacation time, and we finally got everybody together. All right, finally got everybody together. Amen. So here we go.
Let's uh, let's do something real quick here. Pastor Franklin. We know you got a task. We know you got a task. We know you got a task. And it's going to take more than money. It's going to take wisdom. And so we're going to pray over you that God give you wisdom to go in and out of that building. That as you go, that you go in with a plan, you come out with a plan. You go in with a clear head, you come out with a clear head. You go in with a vision, and you leave out with a vision and apply the vision. Father God, we bless you this morning. We certainly thank you for our brother Jack. We thank you, Father, for what you're doing in his life and where you placed him. God, we ask you to continue to lead him and guide him through the power of the Holy Ghost. Let all things that he does at this mission be done decently and in order, God. Keep him with his mind on his integrity. Lead him and guide him in the path that you would have him to go. And Father, most of all, give him wisdom how to go in and out among the people that your name may be exalted among the nations. Let him continue to be a light in the midst of darkness that all may know that you are the true living God. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. God is good. Yes. All the time. I know we're, I know we're park-minded. So am I. I'm going to continue to pray for our brother Siandre. Something going on with his foot. Amen. Being him in the hospital after now. Amen. Yeah, been a long night. Yeah. Amen. But all is all well. Amen. I got went up there at 10 o'clock and left at 1 30, went back at 5 30, left there, came home, went to the park, Amen. secured that spot. Yeah. Right. And now I'm here. Amen. 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 I'm built a little bit different, so. Amen. You know, you don't have to worry, I'm built a little bit different. <laughs> So God is sustaining us. Amen. But we need to learn how to pray for one another. Yes. It doesn't have to be you all the time, but when it's someone else, we have to learn how to pray for others. Amen. 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 Right. And finding out that the more that I pour out to other folk, the more the Lord pours out on me. Amen. And uh, that's a very that's a very good program. Yes. It just seems to run in my life all the time. Yes. And so I don't have a problem to give to others. That's why we're going to sow into the city rescue mission. We're going to continue to be a part of that. Because yeah, I believe that that's what God would have us to do. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I'm not going to be here long, but I do want to. I do want to give you a word. I don't want to leave you with nothing. So real quickly, we're going to turn to Genesis. We're going to turn to the book of Genesis, and we're going to start with chapter three. And the verse that I want to talk about is verse ten. So we're at Genesis 3 and verse 10. Father God, we bless you this morning. We thank you, God, for all that you're doing in our lives. We thank you for your loving kindness and your grace. We thank you for joy. We thank you for peace. We thank you, Father, for this word that's about to come forth and nothing can stop it. Nothing can hinder it. It will come out and find a lodging place in the hearts of your people. And it will accomplish what you sent it out to do. We thank you, Father, that we got power, authority, and dominion over all the power of the enemy. So we bind up every ungodly force. We bind Satan and his demons in their manifestations. Let the peace of God that surpass all understanding. Let that rest, let that rule, let that abide in this house. And most of all, let us go down from this hill better than what we came up. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 So I've, I've been talking to you about uh, truth. We're talking to you about truth. So we, there's a whole bunch of stuff that we know that may be true, but it may not be the truth. Amen. And so we found out that when we add the article, the, to the sentence, it becomes real profound that this is the way it is. Amen. And so when Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, that article, the, made that statement more profound. Yes. And so now when we get to Genesis, we're, we are dealing with stuff in our lives, all of us. We're all dealing with things in our lives, and one of the biggest things that we deal with is this fear. Right. Amen. This fear will get us over into another area that's called unbelief. Right. 
Because right. basically, when you check this out, you're only fearful because you don't believe it. Right. Because what we believe, yeah. will drive the fear out. Exactly. It will drive it out. Amen. But let's look at what's happening here. We got this fellow named Adam, who's the guy that's running things. Right. Make it simple. And he's finally let the serpent talk to him and get him in trouble. Right. Let's start with verse 1. It says, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. He said unto the woman, Yea, have God said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden? The woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. The serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eye, and the tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Yeah. And the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves aprons. They heard the voice of the Lord. God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord amongst the trees in the garden. The Lord called unto Adam, so God's calling unto him, said unto him, Where art thou? That's not that's not demographics, that's not location, that's position. Realizing that for the first time that he comes to this garden, these two lights are out. Right. First time he comes to the garden, the garden is now dark. Because right. he got two subjects here that were the trophies that he put in there to shine. And now because of the Shekinah glory of God that left them, they realize they're naked. Right. Right. And so now we get to verse 10. He says, I heard thy voice in the garden. And watch this. Everything's there. Everything's still there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The lion's still there. The rabbit's still there. The fox's still there. Yeah. Right. Squirrel's still there. Yeah. Yeah. He says, I heard your voice. I heard your voice. Right. And now something's about to take place. Right. Yeah. He said, I heard that voice in the garden, and I was afraid. afraid. And when he said afraid, everything took off. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. When he yeah. said afraid, the rabbit took off. Yeah. Because yeah. he's now lunch. Right. Right. Because yeah. yeah. whatever he said, yeah. that's what it was. That's right. So whatever he named, that's what it was. Yeah. So when he was afraid, everything that's there going to be afraid. It's not just going to fall on him. Right. It's going to fall on everything that's with him. Yeah. Or you're going to catch it to the minute. Right. So that means that if you're afraid, right. okay. everybody with you is going to be afraid. Yeah. Because you're the one that's feeding them yeah. the, afraid, the fear. Yeah. Right? right? Yeah. So what we have to do is realize that this is not about being fearful. Amen. This is about being able to walk in power, authority, and dominion, and that fear is meant to mobilize us. Right. That fear is meant to make us think it cannot happen, it will not happen, and so consequently you never even try it. Right. And so our lives become this, this thing that we get into where we're so fearful that we're afraid, first of all, of our pride. Yes, sir. Because yeah. we don't want to step out and try something that doesn't work, then we don't worry about what we look like in front of these people. Right. right, that's right. That's right. our biggest fear. Yeah. And then the other part is we just don't believe it. Right. right. Well, God's not a man. Right. Come on. We're going to keep talking about that until we get it. God's not a man. He's not like us. Yeah, right. I heard, I was listening to Bill Winston. Bill Winston said we got to get this thing out of our head where we think God's human. Yeah. Right. He's not human. He's not like us. Amen. So here we are. Adam says, I was afraid in fear comes into the world yeah. through what his disobedience right. so so through his disobedience and him doing what he wanted to do fear now enters the world and because it entered the world everybody in the world has to deal with fear. their children yeah. i know it's a spirit yeah. because see, i can take your baby and throw your baby up we do it i know yeah i can talk to the folks that sing and rock about baby on the tree and so don't go back like I'm, it's all strange because I'm throwing your baby up in the air. You're the one singing, walking my baby on the tree top. When the wind broke, I don't even know. I, 
quit singing so no, no, that's, the, that's the words up I know the bow breaks and the, and the cradle comes down yeah. I, don't know, I don't know who taught us that right <laughs> singing that to my children no, no, no. and now you throw your baby up in the air and you catch them you know, and your eyes go that's the spirit yeah. I remember when Vanessa was young I had her in the back seat of the car and I rolled the window down and she gasped like what? The wind hit her, and she's like, "What was like? What was that?" And so you know, it's a it's a spirit, right? Uh -huh. So so when I look at this, this is going to be very simple. I'm not get into anything complicated. I'm just trying to get you to understand that there's a doorway that's opening here, and it's been open, and it's called fear. Right. And what happens is when we are fearful, we will not step out on the word of God. We will not test it. We will not trust it. Because we simply don't believe it. We don't believe it, and we don't trust it. We right. don't, tr and we we will never trust what we don't believe in. Right. If you didn't trust that chair, you wouldn't be sitting down. You'd be standing right beside it. And no, I only got three legs on, so I'm not going to try that. Right. Right. I seen it break on some other folks. So it's like if you don't trust it, you're not going to try it. Right. Yeah. But here's the thing I want us to understand: that happened, mm -hmm. and that came on everybody. Right. Right. Because we grow up in that. Right. Some of us steeped in that more than others, depending right. on who you're with. Right. Because what did I say? The people you were with were fearful, right. and then everybody that's with them becomes fearful. And so now they, you say, well, I'm going to trust God, and folks are like, well, I don't know. They try to give you the practical part of how this all works. Right. Right. No such thing as a practical part of this. Right. Amen. If this were practical, everybody would do it. Right. If everybody understood this, everybody would operate in it, but they don't understand it, so they can't operate in it. This is spiritual things. So you need the you need the Holy Ghost to lead you. Amen. So here we are with this guy, he speaks, and all of a sudden this fear comes into the world. But then I got the second Timothy 1 7. This is the verse that I like. Because when I stop and look at that, I gotta look at what God gave me and what God didn't give me. I gotta look at what God done and what God didn't do. I gotta look at what the enemy is trying to do and what God's trying to get me away from. Amen. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, of love. Sound mind means that my mind's not all over the place. I'm not, you're not, you're not gonna, you're not gonna shift me, you're not gonna change me, you're not gonna turn me because I see something, you're not gonna have my mind. Yeah. Right. To the point where I'm all down down the road. I keep saying that to you young folks. You're running so far down the road that you're already down the road. You never even took two steps. Right. That's right. You're not even on the street, but you're down the road. You're not even left, you haven't even left the house, but you're down the road. Yeah. That's right. You got stuff in your life that you already run to the end of the road and feel that this is how it's going to end. You don't know how it's going to end. Amen. Because you don't know how God's going to work it out. That's right. So God's not giving us this spirit of fear. That spirit came from someplace else. So when I become fearful, I have to immediately check myself and ask myself, what am I dealing with? Where is that coming from? Because I, we, won't, we don't talk about it, but it's a big, it's a big issue. And, uh, and for the most part, you can watch how people's lives go and you can tell who believes it and who don't believe it. Because you know what's going to happen? Let me show you why. This is why we don't fool around with fear. Okay. When you allow fear to come in, you open up that door for fear to come in. Yeah. What's going to happen with you is you're going to get stressed out. Mm -hmm. right. Right. Yes, you're you're, you're going to get a headache. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to get a stomach ache. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're going to get an upset stomach. Yeah. The Pepto-Bismol is not going to be able to help you. Right. Right. Because you're going to be so focused on the fear. Right. Right. That you won't have any room for the faith. Yeah. We got more faith in our unbelief Come on. than we got in stuff that we believe. Right. We got more faith in what we think is going to fail. But I already got a download from God that says I cannot fail as long as I stand on this word. Amen. So as long as I know that I'm standing on this word, I can't allow the enemy to take me someplace that I shouldn't be. Right. And this, this fear is taking us over into some areas where we've gotten to the point where it's asking us questions about do we really trust God? Right. Because that's what it's all about. Do we really trust what he said? Right. Are we going to do what he said? Or are we going to try to figure it out on our own? Right. And for the most part, figure it out. Figure it out. 
got to figure it out. Hold on. Now let me ask you something. Let me, let, me, let me ask you a very serious question. How can you figure it out on your own? Your conscience, watch this. When you, before you got saved, you had a conscience. That was your guide. Your conscience cannot be your guide now. Amen. Because you're a brand new creation. Amen. So since you are, not if, since you are a new creation, uh -huh. then how are you going to talk to your old man right. and ask him how to navigate this kingdom? Right. He's never been here before. Right. Amen. So if my old man has never been to this kingdom before, why am I asking him questions on how do I get to a certain spot? How do I get these scriptures to run? But he has no clue how they work because he never had to work them. Right. He always worked his own stuff, and that's what got us in trouble. We were always doing our own thing. Right. And finally, when we realized, finally, we got to bang our head against the wall and realize right. our own thing wasn't working. Yeah. Because right. I'm going to tell, tell some of you folks today, right now, to your face, what you're doing ain't working. Ain't working. Right. That's why you got a headache. Yeah. Because you can't even see the, the wall. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We keep banging our head against stuff. God has not given us that spirit of fear. And so I, I got all the way down and I got to thinking about the 23rd number of songs. Okay. And so I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this stuff and I'm saying, okay, you know, why is this guy talking about this rod and this staff? All right. All right. So here we are. When we're talking about the Lord, he's my shepherd. Right. So he's letting me know that as long as he's my shepherd, I shall not want. Amen. But you don't make me to lie down in green pastures. You know what? There have been things in your life that didn't look green. Right. And some of you were ready to walk away. Yeah. And the Lord had to make you lay down. Yeah. The Lord had to make you be still. Right. Because the Lord had not made you be still, you would have left the blessing. Right. You would have walked right away from it. Because it didn't look green to you. He made me to lie down in green pastures. I don't know that it's green. I don't know how it's going to all come out. But he leaves me beside still waters. I told you them cheap. They don't drink where that water's trouble. They want to be able to hear the enemy come. Amen. He restores my soul and he leads me in the paths of righteousness. Uh -huh. Not for my name's sake, uh -huh. but for his name's sake. Uh -huh. says, he said, yeah, you know, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. Right. Why? Because thou art with me. Right. And then here's the part that I like. Thy rod and thy staff, they shall comfort me. Exactly. I, I couldn't understand that scripture before until I started looking at what that rod and that staff does. That rod and that staff are not the same instrument. Right. 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 The rod and the staff are not the same instrument. Amen. The rod was used for protection. Uh -huh. The staff was used to not only guide them, but see, you have that rod, and you try to get these sheep into the sheepfold, and you get one of them that want to want to buck against you, so you just take that rod and like just try to persuade them, not beat them. You beat the wolf, you beat the lion, but you're not gonna beat the sheep. Yeah. See, God, God got a rod, and He got a staff, but He don't have a rod that beats us. He got a rod that prods us. Amen. You got a rod that comes every once in a while that I get off track, I can feel the rod. Yeah. Right. You always say nothing. Yeah. See, there's some stuff in your life that every once in a while you know you're off track. Right. You already know you're doing some stuff that ain't right. right. And the Holy Ghost prod you, trying to get you get, get back into the sheepfold. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't leave. Don't leave the good part. Yeah. But see, then every once in a while he got to get you with that, that staff because he you're still going to be, I'm going to do what I'm, I'm about to do me. See, I'm going to step on out of here anyway because I'm grown. Yeah. You ain't none of my dad. You ain't gonna be telling me what to do. And then the Lord have to get that staff. Yeah. Put it around your neck. Yeah. Every once in a while I feel his rod. Yeah. Yeah, I feel his. Yeah. <laughs> See, y'all don't like it, but it's the truth. It's the truth. See, you gotta put the rod on you every once in a while, because that's what makes you straighten up, right? So you don't have to straighten up until you feel some pressure from him. So I, I'm, I'm gonna talk about me. See, there's some times I, I'm not going. I'm just, I'm just not going. I'm just, I'm 19. I'm, I'm not going. Yeah. Right? I have my field church. I'm not going. I'm out. Yeah. Tired. Right. Yeah. Didn't believe all you Christians. <laughs> Grandparents, I'm leaving y'all. You stay in church all day. I'm sick of it. <laughs> then the Holy Ghost. Right. Yeah. Right. 19 years old. Holy Ghost. Feel, feel 
feel that rub. Oh, yeah. Like get back on the path, boy. Right, right. And I feel that nah, nah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm on my way to Gables. I'm on my way to We better get back to the. Yeah. <laughs> you, better, you better get back down the street. Right. right. Get on to the church. Yeah. And so I feel that rod and that staff. And watch this. I felt that rod and that staff so much that I'm in the I'm in the bar. Uh -huh. In a back sleeping condition, in the bar. Uh -huh. Trying to hang out with these folk. And I hear a voice, Mom. Says, come out from among these people. Uh -huh. <laughs> Fit to mess this in see up. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got stuff up on the bar. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a pocket full of money and come out from all of these people. Huh? I start drinking stuff and couldn't get drunk. Yeah. I'm drinking the same stuff. I'm drinking the same stuff that made me drunk, bro, the day before that. But now I can't get drunk because I keep hearing the voice say, "Come out of here." Yeah. 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 And so now I see God. I see God. I look back and I see God's hand on my life. Yeah. I look back and I remember when I was fearful, but now. Yeah, you know, I walk through this battle. Right. I'm not going to feel you. Yeah. 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 I realize that if he's, if he's really telling me the truth, yeah. Yeah. if he's really saying what he means, yeah. then that means that he said, I'll never leave you nor forsake me. Right. And his rod and his staff are there not to beat me up, but right. to keep me in line. Yeah. So God's not here to beat us up. He's not here to swing it back. He's not here to swing the rod. But every once in a while, you're going to feel that rod. You're going yeah. you, you to feel that thing that, that when you yeah. you you know what I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah. Right? Like you, you, already, you already feel it right now. You know there's some stuff in your life right now that you need to check it. Yeah. And you need to get it together before you get the stuff all messed up. You, you already know. You know and you're sitting there right now. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. That stuff. That gets us off the path. Right. Then you gotta, gotta get us raw. Then that, that's not good enough to get a staff, and I can, I can feel it every once in a while. I feel him yeah. pull me. Because right? see, that's some stuff I want to say to y'all every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. I'm out at the park, and I don't see nobody, and it's early, and I've been up all night. And uh -huh. I've been putting the picnic tables up so y'all can have fun. I'm dragging that boat off that trailer and them <laughs> kayaks. No. Right. Putting yeah. the picnic tables yeah. and slamming my fingers in there. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the trunk and I'm half asleep and I'm trying to get the tailgate down and I'm thinking about where's everybody at, but it's rough. Yeah. 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 And the staff said, it's not about you, Keith. It's not about you. Do what I tell you to do. Amen. Yeah, everything's going to turn out all right. That's See, things right. don't turn out right when I don't respond to the staff. Right. Amen. See, God got us. He got us. Amen. I look. See, I used to be an expression, bro. He said, God got us. He got, God got us. Uh -huh. Well, God got us. Yeah. yeah you, you not. You, this is not some place you come visit and then turn and walk away. God got you. Yeah. He got you. He got me. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need to be. When hell you Jackson is saying he got the whole world yeah. in, in his hands. Like, come on. Yeah. 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 You don't see my hand now. He got the whole world yeah. in his hands. Yeah. He got you and me, bro. You and me, sister. Amen. He got the whole wide world in his hands. Yeah. And see, see, we get into that anthropomorphism. Yeah. We want to give him all these attributes like a man. That's what gets us messed up sometimes. You right. Know, like, he got a nose. He got a mouth. His eyes. God's eyes on us. His arm. You know, whose arm? Who's seen the arm of the Lord? Yeah. We get all this stuff and we think he's a man. God's not a man that he should lie. He's neither a son of a man that he should repent. Amen. So I've been telling you about what we're into. We're into a covenant with Jesus Christ. Yeah. And so the covenant cannot be broken. Amen. God's not going to break his part. Amen. So I'm so grateful that it's Rod and the staff. Amen. They don't beat me. They, co they comfort me. Right. Amen. They comfort me. Yeah. You know what I'm learning, bro? Here's what I'm learning. I, and and I'm, I'm just grasping this. That at 67 years old, I now have to truly believe what I'm talking about because my days, yeah. my days, my days, my days, my days, days, 67, 67, and let's do the math. You're not going to do another 67. You're not going to do another 68 because 68 is about to come. And so now I'm realizing that because of my days, these teachings, 
they, they, they sort of like turn a corner. Mm -hmm. Because I have to have an assurance. Yeah. 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 So I have to have an assurance that what I'm preaching about because my, my day is going to come. Right. Amen. 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 And I'm not going to be on it. I'm not going to be at wherever I'm at crying. Right. Scared. Right. Afraid. Right. That I'm not going where I've been preaching about all these years. So now the Holy Ghost started to give me some scriptures that bolster my faith. Amen. And, and consequently, you're catching the overflow. Amen. 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 You're catching the overflow. Yes. So I got to know the Lord is my shepherd. Yes. And I shall not walk. Yes. I got to know that Amen. even though I walk through this valley, the shadow of death, yes. I'm not going to fear any evil. Yes. Because the Lord is staffing not only there, but you know what? His angels. Yes. I had a guy text me on Facebook the other day. He said, you really believe that God got angels? I said, brother, let me tell you something. There's going to be something in our life yeah. that's yeah. protecting us because yeah. I've done some stupid stuff. Amen. I told you, at work, I had a machine. I had a, I had a, a, a wrench that was, it was a half inch thick. It was four feet high. And I put it on a spindle on the machine that was on a 750 RPM. That means that that spindle is going to go around 750 to 50 times in a minute. And I had that, I had my hand on there, and I pushed the button. And that, that wrench was in my hand, flew out of my hand, caught me under the rift. It threw me that way, but there's a big hunk of steel behind me. Had it caught me and pulled me, it would slam me against that piece of steel. But, but those angels yeah. threw me out that way. Yeah. And I still got the scar. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, sir. yeah. Amen. See, 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 I got some, you know it, see. Yeah. That's some stuff in your life that you know that even though it may not be physical, you got some metal scars. Yeah. You got some stuff yeah. that you've been through and you know that had not been for the Lord. Then they give him some clarity because everybody is long, let, let him go. Let him take the nap. Well, Lazarus is dead. Right. But watch this. We've all gotten a glimpse of how this thing works. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Because when I go to sleep, yeah. right. I'm getting a glimpse right. of what it's going to be like when I die. Yeah. You won't even know. Right. You'll just right. think you're asleep. Right. Right. Amen. 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 And so you know that there's stuff in your life. I'm done. There's stuff in your life. Right. See, when, see, when I get some folks that really don't worry about being transparent. Yeah. Right. Come on. Amen. You got some emotional scars. You got some physical yeah. scars. You got some. Amen. You got some wounds. Yeah. You, got, you got some stuff that folks still digging at the scab. Come on with me. Yeah. 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 Every once in a while, they can scratch it off. Somebody said, "Well, you push them." Yeah. I'm saying, but if you push the wrong. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Right. Listen. Listen. Listen, listen to me. Then, then your old man had a button. That's right. Your new man don't come with buttons. Amen. The new man don't come with buttons. The new man don't come with. Come on. Amen. Being in my feelings. Right. Amen. The new man don't work like that. I got, I'm a brand new creature. I don't have a button for you to push. Amen. That's the. I don't yeah. have a button when I get to thinking about the stupid stuff. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Push my button. What do you do? Push my button. Push my button. I, I walk away. Amen. That's right. Amen. See, I look at that thing where it says, you know, if somebody says something, you know, slap you, turn the other cheek, right? So, and so I said, we're not crazy. <laughs> so I'm not going to let you slap me twice. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you so slap me. Well, Turn the other cheek. I'll turn the other cheek this way. Yeah. 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 I know to some of y'all that means turn up, so keep getting slapped. That's yeah. good. No, 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 keep slapping me. Yeah. Why you slap me? I got to, I got to walk. That's yeah. thing you do, walk away. Turn, turn the other cheek. That means I got to turn to the, to another direction. Yeah. 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 Amen. Because we still got stuff in us. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And the Lord's trying to 
purge us in that regeneration. We got, we're coming into the justification, but we got to get into this regeneration. Right. We got to get into this part where we surrender ourselves to God, and then you start to purge some of that stuff up out of us. Yeah. Yeah. That's the point where I'm not my feelings, so you can say whatever you want to say, as long as I know I'm more than a conqueror for him that loved me. Yeah. Yeah. God can tell me he's more than the world against me. God not the world, so that means that he can't be against me, because he said that the world can't be against me, so a few folk are not going to be against me. Amen. Amen. And he's trying to get us up to get this stuff out. Amen. This fear out. We're going to keep talking about it. We're going to get back on it on Tuesday. Amen. I'm going to fly out here on Thursday for vacation, but we're going to hit it Tuesday. Amen. And we're going to hit it to the point where we understand that if you don't step out on it, you're missing your, your whole blessing. Amen. And you got some of us so paralyzed, we, we won't even take the first step. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. I stay right here. Right. This is comfortable to me. This is not about being comfortable. Yeah. It's not about staying on some plateau. Because right. every round is going to go. All right. All right. You should. Listen, I'm not coming in here to stay on some plateau. Amen. I'm coming in here to see how high. Amen. Trying to get us 
in the spirit yeah. so we can get the truth. Because yeah. outside the spirit, you're still living a lie. Right. Yeah. Outside the spirit, you're still trying to do you. That's yeah. right. You're still trying to work it out your way. Right. Your way's not gonna work in here. Amen. Not gonna work. Amen. So we're gonna continue to talk about this fear. Amen. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Yeah. Amen. We're gonna get to the point where we come in here and we're gonna be so lit. Yeah. Amen. That we light the place up. Amen. And this is not the place where you come with. Right. That's right. No, this is the place where you come with your hands. Yeah. Your hands. Slouching. We don't come in here. We come to see the king. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not coming in here just to come in here. Yeah. I'm coming in here to see somebody. Yeah. I'm not just coming in here to see you. Yeah. But I'm coming here to see the king. Yeah. I'm not just coming in here to talk about something that I don't believe myself. Yeah. I've already persuaded myself, mother, before I got to the church yeah. that I already know this stuff works. Yeah. And I don't care whether folk go along with me or whether they don't go along yeah. with me. I found out for myself that when I grasp my faith, Turn in the physical matter. Yeah. But if it does not turn in the physical matter, I do not have any evidence that I can show you. I can only tell you that I believe it and I trust it. But my God shall supply all of my needs according to His riches. So I found out that if I trust it, I believe it. And I start talking about some stuff. And I start talking about God. I said, God, I got some monumental faith. And in order for the folk to see how monumental it is, you got to let some monumental manifest. And then I see this building manifest. And I say, okay, God, we're in the building. I know there's some stuff in here that needs to be done. You told me you'd give me good money for every good work. I say, I see some windows here that I don't like, and I need to get rid of them. I see a building that's hot, and we need some air conditioning. I see a floor that I don't like. It's all scratched up. We need some carpeting. And within this year's time, God allowed us to put windows in, roof on, and sanctuary. I ain't got time for him to put that staff on my neck. Yeah. Right. I don't have time for him to be 
it brought me. I already know get on the path. I already know get it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. See, I can't be fearful because then you'll be fearful. Right. I can't say I don't believe it because then you won't, you won't, you won't believe it. Right. The only reason some of y'all believe it. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Said, Amen. Amen. I'll turn in the Bill Winston and say amen to that. Amen. <laughs> only reason some of y'all believe it because I believe it. Yeah. Yeah. And I've drilled you enough that you start now believing because you believe I believe. Right. Amen. Stuff amen. is powerful. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Some stuff coming. It could be some stuff coming down the road. Amen. For my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches. Amen. Okay, get up, sing to yourself, for my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches. Amen. Not, not where, you, where you think it's coming from, but my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches. Say, my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches. That's what's about to happen. Amen. God's going to show you that you can trust him and he's going to supply all of your needs according to his riches. Amen. You got some stuff coming down the road I can see it coming. It may look like it's coming slow to you but it's going to show up. Amen. And God's going to supply all of your needs according to his riches. Amen. Don't worry about it. You know what? All you're going to do is get an upset stomach and when you get done Nothing moved anyway. Mm -hmm. So why don't we just get to the faith part? Mm -hmm. The fear part got me paralyzed and I don't see nothing. Then my other option is to take the faith path and say, okay, I believe God. Believe God? Yeah, I know you do. Doctor, you hear me? Amen. Amen. So you start to believe that more and more because we call you doctor. Now we're not we're not waiting for the thing to take place. Amen. I'll speak to it. stuff to show up. We gotta speak it into existence. Right. See, yeah. see, listen, 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 because God's doing something with you, and here's here's how I know. Cause there's some stuff happening with me. So when I see you, right, I start saying, okay, car, you know what, you know what, car, you know what, car, you can't resist us. Amen. Amen. So I want you to have your own stuff. Come and go when you want to. So every time I see you, you know what I'm talking about? Thank you, God, for the car. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to thank you for it even show up. Yeah, yeah. Amen. You, you, know that, you know there's stuff in here. Yeah. Folk get overflow. Right. Amen. All right. Yeah. I don't know what God might do. Amen. You got, you got to increase your faith. Amen. Listen. Let, I'm, let me say something to you. I gotta get you, you're gonna get the, what's the, the theological. Yeah. You're gonna get the theological answer. But you're gonna find out that your life experiences override some of those theological answers because of what God will do for you. Amen. We know what the book says, we know how it's supposed to pan out, but there's some stuff that works out that is not supposed to work out according to them because from a theological standpoint, not supposed to work like that. Amen. Right? Yeah. Right, we did not like we don't grasp some stuff. Yeah, we grasp this, we grasp the car. Amen. 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 Oh, you can't do that. We're grasping your car. Amen. Amen. Just like we grasp your car. Yeah. Right? Right. You, we got tired of talking about it. It's like we grasp you, pull you up out of the dollar tree. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Everybody laughing about that, but that was a real deal. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I said, okay, we're going to pray you up out of here. That's right. Yeah. So, so don't worry, because we want you to get to the faith part before.
before you get the theological part, but if you get the theological part, you don't lose the faith part. Because the theological part got practicality attached to it. If it don't look practical, you won't step out. All you gotta do is keep trusting and believing in God. What you gonna do? My God shall supply all of my needs. Amen. Not according to your riches, according to his riches. Amen. When you get up in the morning, say that. Say that with some fervor, some faith. Yeah. And then watch what happens. Amen. 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 We all keep calling the car until we see you pull up in the driveway Amen. and everybody just start clapping their hands like you did for her.
say, take a look at me now. Yes. Not, not to the point where you're bragging about it, but take a look at me now, right? I, I come. Yes. See, see, when you start, you start to see, when the limits come, you can see the limits. Yes. Yes. When, when God starts moving on somebody, you can see God's yes. hand yes. in their life. You can start to see their yes. countenance change a little bit. It's, it's, they, they smile a little bit different now. They come in, they got that little bounce to them now. They don't, they don't come in trying it. They come in there. Finance come. 
Settle my sister down, because that, yeah, see, for, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. God, get them folks out the way so we can get back to doing what we do. Once we get to doing what we do, we won't have to worry about finance because the folks will come. We already gave this city a taste of the cornerstone. So once that restaurant opens up, it's time to get busy. Amen. So don't worry about opening. Amen. Don't even worry about their timeline. He said he would sustain you. You believe that? Yes. You can't say that and not believe that. Amen. He's gonna sustain you. You're gonna do exactly what he said. Amen. Amen. And I know when I trust him and I believe him. Amen. Some people say, oh, you know, this is not a feeling. Now he's all over me. Yes. All over me. This baby. This baby. This baby. A little different. A little different this time. Kind of strange. But this baby, watch. Watch God. This baby. Amen. Watch God with this baby. How you watch God with this baby? This is weird. Stuff that's going on is kind of weird. You can't you can't try to figure it out. You can't figure it out. You can't figure that out. Just watch God. Amen. Amen. Hey, brother Trent.
important part of this is that if you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, then this is your opportunity to know him. You cannot experience this covenant that we're talking about unless you enter into the covenant through his blood. The Bible simply says this, God sent his son into the world. But he didn't send his son to condemn the world. He sent his son that the world through him might be saved. God so loved us that he sent his son. He didn't send his son into the world to condemn the world. He sent his son that the world might be saved. Salvation. I'm going to keep offering salvation to you. If you know you're not saved, then you need to be thinking about what I'm talking about. Because everybody got this short window of opportunity. And while you're in this short window, you need to take advantage of what's been offered. Amen. Amen. So we are not going to ever leave this service. We, we make mistakes at times, but our main intent is to always make an appeal for those that are not saved to come to this altar and give your life to the Lord. All the stuff that we talk about in here, you cannot use it unless you are part of this covenant. Yes. 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 You may not want to find a preacher now, but everybody will try to find one when you leave here. Yes. I'm trying to get you to find them now. Yes. So we don't have to make up words. Amen. Amen. I'm praying that. Here, here's my prayer. And I, I don't think I've ever been more intense. I'm praying that God opens your eyes. That you can see how critical this is. That if you die without him, eternity is a long time to be spending out in the presence of God. Amen. So the enemy always tries to get in this part. So we don't talk about it. And then we don't make an appeal because you, you know, well, we're not going to say anything. We're going to keep saying something to you. Amen. Amen. Because if you know you're not saved, you need to get yourself together. Yes. Because just coming to the service not going to do you any good. Just like you trying to collect on the next door neighbor's house that burned down, you didn't have the policy. Right. Right. That's right. You're trying to get you some assurance. taste of glory of an heir of salvation yeah. and purchased <coughs> born of his spirit yeah. washed in his blood alright we're getting ready to go to Moraine Amen. make this real simple for you right you're going down 422 you're on 422 there's a sign on the right hand side of the road that says South Shore Rain State Park do not go past that sign <laughs> Make a right turn on the top at that sign. Go down to the stop sign. When you get to the stop sign, stop. <laughs> Make a left. Follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> Come on around the corner and we'll all be there by the lake. Yes. Amen. So it's the Moraine State Park exit, but it's the North Shore, not the South Shore, because there's two exits once you pass that red light, past Pilot. Pay attention to the first exit. Go towards the, the lake. Come up around the hope to, uh, yeah, come up around the bend and you'll see South Shore. You're gonna make that right hand turn, go down that hill to that stop sign. And we'll be around that corner. Got, got us right where we were last last couple of weeks. Amen. 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 How many of you enjoy yourself with these albums?